In this episode, we head further south into Central America, down to the Rio Dulce in Guatemala. There I am. Burning up. Here we'll get tipped and towed to enter the river. Woo! A little crazy going on right now. Then we'll make our way through a jungle canyon into the remote regions of Guatemala. We check into our marina and get acquainted with the local wildlife. I've dreamt of taking off in a sailboat to cruise the world for as long as I can remember. And now that dream is coming true. In our previous episode, we arrived in Isla Mujeres, Mexico, where we made some cruiser friends and really started to tap into the good times of this lifestyle with adventures and parties with other like-minded people. We also had some family join us to explore the island. Every year, cruisers have to make an important decision about where they plan to be during hurricane season, which in the Atlantic is from June through November. The most popular options are either Grenada in the Eastern Caribbean or the Rio Dulce in Guatemala. Since we had already done some charters in the Eastern Caribbean, we decided that Guatemala would be a nice unique destination that would allow us to immerse ourselves in a totally different culture, away from the tourist destinations, and since it's not an island, we could easily explore the inland regions of the country. After waiting two weeks longer than planned, our weather window finally came. We would sail along the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, then pass through the inner channel of Belize and finally to Trace Puntas, Guatemala. Here we are sailing off the coast of Mexico and we just tacked out away from the land. We were running out of water on our tack and we wound up sailing. So we tacked off and we are screaming. There's also kind of a dark looking cloud storm over there. I think it's coming towards us. But Mandela loves this kind of thing. When we are in passage for multiple days, we often have to go about our everyday tasks while the boat is heeled over or on a lean and bouncing around in waves. This is me trying to wash dishes. Notice how I am standing at an angle and everything that isn't tied down is also at an angle. Even the water comes out of the faucet on an angle. So here we are, it's the end of May, we're really out in the middle of nowhere. We are sailing down the coast of Mexico, a little bit south of Tulum, heading towards Guatemala. We have been sailing, this is our, I guess it's been a little more than 24 hours to get from Isla Mujeres. It just got dark while ago. We are having a great sail, it's, I don't know, it's blowing 10 or something, and um, we're sailing along about two or three miles off the coast. There's a big storm behind us to the north. You keep seeing flashes in the sky. I saw some flashes over here over the land too behind me. We're just humming along though. Oh, there's some good flashes. And we're just keeping an eye on these storms, make sure they don't catch up to us. And then we're just gonna take turns, taking shifts and sail through the night. coast of Mexico, heading down towards Belize. 
rough weather last night. We had just like a washing machine thunderstorms and just waves and current making it really impossible to sleep. But it's a beautiful day today. After the storm, there's always a beautiful calm day. Jeff trying to catch a few winks. We are off of Colton Key in Belize and it is hot it's like 93 outside 91 inside the boat we've got our boat barracuda hanging around and then also a piece of corrugated something or other probably blown off of a little building you can see maybe you can see there's a little lobster camp off the point over here Oop, over there but they seem to be not here, unfortunately. We've read reviews that they come out to your boat and offer you lobster, but not today. Probably the slow season again. Whew, not a speck of wind, but hopefully it'll fill in later and we can head off to Guatemala. Be another overnight to Trace Puntas. Perfect sail off the coast of Belize. Like up until today, it's been a white horizon all the way around for the days. All because of the smoke. Sometimes we can smell it. it smells kind of like a campfire after you put it out. So it's got it's kind of like wet smoke. We're going into Trace Puntas Anchorage. This is where everybody comes to get ready to enter the Rio. So we're just actually across the bay. And these are the few, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boats, eight with us, nine with this other guy, Steve, you know, so we'll all be probably entering tomorrow morning. But I cannot tell you how excited I am right now. This, this is where I've been hanging up from this kind of place, away from the tour boats and the ferries ships with nothing but little fishing villages and boats, little boats. This is what I've been wanting to do and I found it pretty Our next leg takes us to Livingston where we'll check into the country and then we'll head down the river to Cayo Camado also known as Texan Bay, where we'll hang out for a few days before checking into our marina outside of the town of Rio Dulce. There's Livingston up ahead of us, and these are all the boats getting ready to enter the river. I'm guessing these are all the boats that need to be leaned over. We have to come across this bank during high tide. Unfortunately, we have a super high tide today starting at 8 o'clock. So we've all been going along since five o'clock in the morning trying to get here in time and because there is a muddy bar at the mouth of the river we have to hire someone to tip and tow our boat so we don't hit the bottom okay here we go oh my gosh you guys we're getting pulled over so this this boat wally too is going to pull this line which is attached to our mast and then that boat is towing us. Oh shit! What? This oh, isn't take that off. Shit! Take it off. Woo! A little crazy going on right now. All right. Point one. 
You could probably tell them to tip more. Yeah, they're telling them. Well, we just finished our check-in with Raul and Livingston. Now we're heading into the gorge. Deep into the bowels of the Rio Dolce. Here we go. Up the jungle river. First morning in the river. We uh, came up the canyon yesterday and now we are anchored in the corner of the lake, just uh, right outside of Texan Bay. There's a bunch of boats that all came in yesterday. so hot. We're going to a restaurant. It's up this little river. It's called Sonia's. We called and made a reservation yesterday. So she'd know we're coming. Is that it right there? I don't know. <laughs>
just checked in to the Monkey Bay Marina. And this is our slice of paradise for the next six months. The boat's anchored, or not anchored, it's at the dock. And then we have this beautiful jungle forest where we can get off and cool off. It's so much cooler out in the, in the shade than in the sun. And here's where everybody hangs out. I think it's got to be 20 degrees cooler under here. It's at least 100 degrees on the boat. So here's the kitchen, so I don't have to cook in a 100 degree boat. I can cook here. A little fridge. It's a community kitchen. Oh my god, look at the tiniest one. Jeff, Jeff. The tiniest one ever. Up here right next to his mommy. Monkey Bay did not disappoint with wildlife encounters, some of them better than others. It's too bad the camera wasn't running as Jeff and I scrambled around the boat in a not-so-choreographed act of extraction when we found this snake among our hats. Thankfully, it wasn't a fair to Lance. We learned the hard way to turn off the lights and got mobbed by mayflies. Out of this tonight. This is a toxic toad. Decided to hang out in one of the dog bowls, one of the marina dog bowls. Hopefully none of them will try and lick him because it could result in some pretty serious hallucinations. Hello toad! Oh my. And this is sweet Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Sailing Mandala. Please join us next time as we learn to live on the Rio Dulce. If you enjoyed this show, please like and subscribe to our channel.